What's up you guys and welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video we're going to be doing the OV tune onto my Tacoma. So if you guys do have a Tacoma you guys probably already know what this is. So there's going to be two different types of tunes. There's going to be the 87 tune which kind of just fixes up uh, the transmission, kind of the weird shifting that it has. Probably gives you a little bit of better gas mileage. But as far as for me I'm going to do the 91 tune strictly. So now I'm going to need to fill up with 91 of course. And it's going to help me out a lot more with gas mileage, uh, the transmission, the way it shifts and just kind of give it a better ride of course there is other tunes out there there is like performance tunes and other stuff like that but as far as for today I'm gonna to be doing the OV tune 91 so we're gonna see how it handles we're gonna be doing a review on it so after we install it we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll get a couple clips for you guys to see if it actually works or not I'm gonna go ahead and film a little bit of it of as far as installing it which it only takes about five minutes I'm gonna be going with Phil so if you guys don't know him make sure to check him out on Instagram it's gonna be right here you guys have probably heard of him but if you haven't check him out uh, so uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing the review. So if I do end up liking it, I'll let you guys know at the end of the video. I'll give you guys my thoughts. Now, if I do want to end up going the performance tune, we'll get to that in another video. But as far as for today, I wanted to stay safe and just do it this way. So let's do it. So just to show you guys right off the bat, this is of course with the stock tune, just kind of how the Tacoma comes. I do have a lot of stuff on it, so I'm getting about 11.9 miles per gallon. So that's around roughly what I get. I usually get between 10 to 13 if I want to be exact. But as far as right now, I've been getting about 11.9 average. So let's go ahead and see what that tune does for us. Let's get to the shot. Yay! Alright you guys, so I'm right here with Phil. I'm gonna let him explain just kind of what I'm doing here, what type of tune I'm gonna get onto my truck. A little bit more power, better throttle response, so I'm gonna tune Jesse here with the, the premium octane tune. Uh, that'll fix throttle lag, the, the shifting points and whatnot. Pretty much it, both tunes, whichever one you prefer between regular octane and premium octane, that, that'll determine how much power you get out of each flash. Both tunes do the same thing, give you uh, better shifting and better throttle response. Let's do it. <laughs> So we finished up the tune. It only took about what, like five or 10 minutes, something like that? Yeah. So it was actually pretty quick. Uh, so if you guys do end up doing it, it's gonna be an in and out type of thing. So if you guys have other things to do that day, don't worry, cause this is freaking quick. So now that it's installed and everything, I'm gonna go ahead and now test it out. Before I do that though, um, he was letting me know, it's gonna take a little bit for the truck to actually learn what we just did to it. So it's gonna kinda have to learn the gears, it's gonna have to kinda learn uh, the off-road terrain, it's gonna have to learn on-road, uh, freeway driving and all that. So it's probably gonna take, I wanna say maybe another tank or two uh, until we actually get the tune uh, to perform correctly. So I'm excited for this. Uh, right now I'm gonna just go ahead and test it out and see how it is right off the bat. We're about to pull out and yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get to the review part of this. Where are we? Disneyland, the best place in the world. It's the happiest place in the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I have the truck home, so I already know the results, I kind of know how it feels, I know how it drives, and I know the overall gas mileage that I've been getting with it. Before we actually share the results with you guys, I wanted to go ahead and kind of give you guys a quick build breakdown on my truck. The reason why is because this may kind of vary for you guys, as far as for me what I have. I do have skid plates all underneath, I do have a gas tank skid plate and a couple skid plates going back. As far as the tires, like I said, I do have the 33 inch uh, Toyo Open Country RTs. Of course, I do have a lift, I have wheels, I do have rock sliders uh, with the kick out, so these do weigh a little bit more than the normal ones. I do have a rooftop tent up there, and then I also have, of course, a Princey roof rack that I always have installed. I don't take it off or anything like that. And I do have accessories in the bed back here. I have my full size spare. So I have a bunch of little things that do kind of weigh it down. So we did have to take into consideration when we did do the 91 tune. That's why I was saying for you guys, it may be a little bit different on your results, depending if you guys have bigger tires or if you guys have a re-gear or uh, intake or stuff like that. So now that I kind of just give you a quick, quick, uh, just build breakdown of my truck, let's go ahead and now get to the results. And then at the end, I'll tell you guys if it was worth it or not. And if you guys do end up wanting to do it, make sure to check out the description box below because all his information is there. Let's get to it. So before we actually get started with the testing and show you guys the actual results that it does give, if you guys do get an OV tune uh, from
from Phil. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my tank because it was on empty. And the cool thing about this, uh, now I have a little sticker that says, of course, 91 only, since I did get that type of tune. So we're gonna fill it up. And then once it's done, I'll go ahead and uh, just give you guys some shots. Let's get it. So now I did fill up the gas tank. Uh, so before I do give you guys the results and we go driving and everything like that, I did want to let you guys know, everybody's results is going to be different. Uh, the reason why is because, of course, everybody is going to have a different driving patterns. Everybody is going to have a different modifications. So with different modifications, it's going to be different weight, of course, on the truck. So that's going to kind of vary for you guys. This uh, test result that I'm doing today is, of course, if your guys' truck is very similar to mine, then you guys, of course, should be getting the same results as me. I've already tested it. I've had it on for, I want to say, maybe about two months now. So I know what results I get. And the reason why I waited this long to make this video was because I wanted to see if it actually worked or not before I showed you guys and kind of recommended it or not. So now I know and now you guys are going to know. So let's go ahead and now get started. I'm going to go first on the freeway. I'm going to do uh, basically highway driving because as far as for me, when I drive this truck to work, I drive maybe uh, five minutes on the street and then maybe another 30, 40 minutes on the highway. And then from there, I drive another maybe five minutes off on the street. So I'm going to kind of just uh, redo that and kind of show you guys, of course, uh, that type of driving style. And then after I show you guys that and show you guys the results, I'm going to be a little bit harder on the truck. I'm going to just kind of stomp on the gas and show you guys the results on that. So first, we're going to drive like a grandma. After that, we're going to drive like a young kid. Let's get it. Of course, right now we just finished filling up. I just hopped onto the freeway. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to go ahead, like I was saying, I'm going to drive just kind of cautiously about 65, 70 miles per hour. And I'm going to see how high I can get this MPG. Uh, and then after that, we'll go ahead and uh, just kind of drive the truck a little harder and see the difference in, uh, of course, driving styles and see the difference in MPGs. Uh, right now, I'm going to drive probably between 30 to 40 miles down the highway. And then uh, once we get there, I'll go ahead and give you guys just the live feed and then just show you guys what we ended up averaging. And then from there, like I said, we're gonna flip back around and do the same results, but driving it a little bit harder. So let's go ahead and keep going. As you could tell, the MPG is already shooting up. My average that I've gotten the highest was about 21 miles per gallon. It's crazy because I haven't gotten that type of MPG in such a long time. Even when I was factory, I was only getting 1920. So it's awesome to see it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, keep going down this highway and see how high we can get. If you guys do have this OV tune, please make sure to comment down your guys' results or just kind of your thoughts on it, if it's worth it or not. I'm about to get ready to pull over finally and get off the freeway. Uh, we did do about a little bit more than 30 miles right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some results and I'm going to talk about it. It's actually pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and look right over here. All right, you guys. So first thing I wanted to go ahead and show you guys here is, as you could tell, I just pulled off the freeway. Uh, we traveled 31.5 miles. So we're going to go ahead and do some math right now. So looking at 31.5, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys up here. Distance to empty is a 240. So if you guys add the 240 and the 31, uh, that equals, of course, 281 miles to empty. So that's awesome. So that actually increased um, my distance to empty on a full tank. So the highest I ever got that, that I saw physically, was about 310 miles, I believe, uh, distance to empty. So it actually added miles so I can travel a lot further on one tank. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Let me go ahead and show you guys now the results. So right now, of course, it's saying 19.9 miles uh, per gallon, which is actually pretty freaking awesome. Of course, now I'm traveling on the street, so it may go lower than that, but it's still awesome to see that, you know, it's high. I've never gotten this. Before the OV tune, the highest I'd get was like 14 miles per gallon, and that was me driving like a freaking grandma. So look at that now. So right now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna turn off the car, and show you guys the full on average uh, that I did end up getting, uh, just so that way the computer reads everything correctly. Now I finally pulled over, let me go ahead and turn off the car. 
So there's our final results. Uh, distance to empty, 240 miles. Distance travel, 32.9. Okay, so now I've reset my trip summary. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, of course, turn back around. And now I'm gonna drive the truck a little bit more aggressively, just kind of like normal driving. Uh, so let's get it. Now that we've turned around, we're back on the highway. I drove a little bit on the street, of course, as well. But I did wanna let you guys know. So going back on the freeway, I'm actually going north. And uh, on this freeway, which is the 15 North, um, it's actually an uphill. I'm coming from Temesco Canyon um, up towards, say, where the pass is. Uh, so that's gonna be all uphill mainly, up and down. And uh, of course, like I said, I'm gonna speed up a little bit more. I'm gonna be passing cars. So I've been doing about 75, 80. Uh, right now we're reaching traffic, so I may have to slow down, but just to let you guys know, and so you guys see, I'm not lying. There it is. So let's go ahead and keep going. When we get to our next destination, I'll go ahead and stop and show you guys all the results once again. And then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Now we've hit about 30 miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull over right now, but I just wanna show you guys uh, the live feed right here. So we're at about 17.8 miles per gallon. Like I said, uh, this was mainly all uphill. We're driving up 15 north going up towards the 210 if you guys are familiar with the two, the inland empire area that's basically where i'm at you guys know this is all uphill with up and downs so i've been going about 80 75 just going kind of up and around cars and that's basically where my gas mileage is so like i was telling you guys it's going to vary for everybody and depending on how you drive so as you t as you can tell i went down a little bit just right now because i had to push it of course so of course the harder you are on the truck the less you're gonna get. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and pull over and get the final results. Now that I've pulled over, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the truck just to give you guys the average results overall. Let's do that now. All right, so as you can tell, I did travel a little bit more on this one. So I did go 38.9 miles. And of course, like I was telling you, this was all uphill with a couple up and downs. And I was driving a lot faster, going about 75 to about 82 miles per hour. It looks like we got an average of 16.3 miles per gallon and distance to empty went to 220. So there you guys go. There's your guys' uh, results. So if you guys do want to get it, like I was telling you guys, uh, go ahead and check out the description box below. I'll make sure to link Phil's information there. If you were to ask me, I'd say I'd highly recommend it. Um, the OV tune is uh, kind of like a safe type of tune to get. It just kind of helps out with everything as you guys saw. If you guys are struggling with gas mileage, this is something that you guys can get. And if you guys let Phil know that I sent you over, you guys will get a great deal. So the price on it is not bad for what you get and you guys are gonna be saving money overall. Uh, just kind of in time uh, so i would highly suggest getting it if you guys did enjoy today's video please make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one peace